Here's an explanation for the answer to final exam question number 33 in the Electronics Demystified 2nd Edition. If you have the printed book, it's at the bottom of page 423. <clears throat> if we encounter an old engineering paper that refers to insulated gate FETs, what are the authors writing about? Well, the correct answer here is none of the above. It's not a JFET or a, a junction field effect transistor. It's not a bipolar transistor. It's not a Zener diode, and it's not a pin diode. Here is what they're referring to. This is the part of figure 6-12, actually illustrations A and B in figure 6-12. This is the schematic symbol right here for this thing. An insulated gate field effect transistor, more commonly known as a metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor or MOSFET. This particular device <coughs> is an N-channel MOSFET because as you can see the channel is n-type semiconductor material we have a p-type substrate on which that n-type material rests but notice here's the source here's the gate and here's the drain just like in an ordinary junction field effect transistor, the source, gate, and drain. The gate is the control electrode here in most circuits. And you have an insulating layer between the metal electrode that connects to the wire that goes to whatever the gate goes to, that is an electrode insulated from the channel by this layer of dielectric. So that what we have here is almost like a capacitor. The gate is insulated from the rest of the device. And that is why originally they used to call it an insulated gate field effect transistor or I'll bet you can already guess what that would be abbreviated as IGFET. That sounds like some kind of cartoon character, doesn't it? Anyway, this is an N-channel MOSFET. A P-channel MOSFET would simply have an N-type substrate, a P-type channel, and the same type of configuration for the gate, an insulating layer like that. So that's how a MOSFET is constructed, basically. This is a simplified conceptual diagram, of course, not a literal diagram. And you can recognize it in schematic diagrams by the presence of this insulated gate try to point to that for you right there you can see it it looks like a little capacitor that's how you can tell in a schematic diagram that you're dealing with a moss fet so the correct choice to this question once again is e none of the above it's not a not b not c not D.